Hi friends, I am Manjunath Reddy and I am one of the ex-students of Spastic Society of Karnataka. Hi, my name is Lata. So Priya auntie asked me to uh, make the short uh, clip asking me to speak about uh, what mark I have made. I would like to give a brief definition of tribal policy. CP is a group of disorders that affects the mobility, balance and posture as a result of brain damage occurred by birth or soon after birth. He was one of the first batch of students of Spastic Society of India which was then run at home which is five students. Along with his peers, he moved on to completing his 10 standard exams despite being a non-verbal quadriplegic. I went to the Society of Karnataka in the year 1990. I'm currently a lawyer at law firm Reed Smith in London, focusing on competition, financial regulation, and knowledge management. I'm a CP diplegic and uh, I have completed my BA through distance education while I was working in Line 3. I am a qualified company secretary, come a lawyer. Uh, I've served in a few industries such as uh, food and uh, banking sectors. Uh, so I was solely heading the legal compliance and secretarial function of a 30 billion company in India. So currently I'm working with HSBC where I handle uh, the compliance and governance aspects of the UK laws. I studied in Plastic Society of Karnataka for 16 years and left the left in the year 2001 to join a reputed MNC, General Electric, as a receptionist. I had to undergo five rounds of interviews to get the position and it was a dream come true. Uh, with all the challenges we need to believe that anything is possible and that belief will take us a long way. I'm married and I'm blessed with a boy who is 11 years old. We run a business in RR Nagar, Bangalore. We manufacture edible oil since 4 years using the old methodology called Ghana. Today I presently work for Mindtree Limited as a technical architect. I joined Mindtree in 2009 at an entry level engineer. And since then I have grown up step by step in the organization. I provide automation solutions to the clients and I am pretty good at my job. Uh, I have a great passion for teaching. So I do a little bit of teaching as well to the former students. Um, I've, I love traveling and being around people. So I have these amazing and wonderful friends and colleagues um, with whom I've traveled quite a bit. According to me, life is what you make it. And nothing is impossible. To type. Correct. To type. to use the computer three okay period minimize that my role as a receptionist helped me connect and interact with many members of the company and I got a group of very supportive colleagues. These friends helped me in my journey in the company and to prove my capability in the role of a receptionist and later as an admin executive. Apart from that, I am also uh, a trustee for an NGO called Include Foundation. We work at a grassroots level, especially with women and children with disabilities. We have successfully conducted three Pan-India movement 
events called the Indian Congress for Persons with Disabilities. We wish to change the mindset and the attitude towards persons with disabilities in mainstream society. Despite his physical limitations, he used to make greeting cards and sell them to whoever would buy and would donate that little money he had to an orphanage. He is a born salesperson with a heart of gold. Due to his entrepreneurial spirit, he decided to become a small savings agent. But government restrictions stated that his mother do it in his stead. He still continues to manage those accounts from his computer. This is how sometimes I edit the school website. This is the background uh, back-end website called Wix. For me, making your mark means finding your ability within your disability. Your disability is part of your identity. But if you're able to get those three words, three letters, D-I-S, out of your mind, it's more of a mindset and you can find your ability. As I've always said, my mantra in life is, as Samuel Beckett says, ever tried, ever failed, no matter. Try again, fail again. I think uh, there's a very thin line between uh, accepting reality and pushing yourself. Uh, what is reality you cannot change, you just have to accept it and move ahead, right? Uh, but what you can, what you think you can push yourself, you shouldn't let that slip away. Your abilities are your strengths, your disability is not your strength. So work towards your abilities and not towards your disabilities. Don't try to correct your disabilities. You will be actually wasting your time. To all the parents, believe in your child that he or she has all the potential in the world. And for the kids who, who are dealing with the challenges on the daily basis, Believe in yourself and you will reach a great height. Nothing is impossible.